I am Michael Arville and I'm showing off some of the latest Phonix Test Suite 5.2 Canino improvements, particularly around the Foromatic component. Uh, with the 5.2 release, there's now the built-in Foromatic web server that can communicate with any Phonix Test Suite 5.2 or newer client for basically having a test farm of systems that uh, um, communicate with one centralized server, the Foromatic server for test orchestration. You're able to either run a test on, like, say, a daily basis or every night of the latest packages of a system, for instance, or the latest daily snapshot of GCC, or basically whatever you'd like to script around it. Um, you could also um, run the Phronix test suite for Omatic with, say, um, any trigger basis for like a new git commit to Mesa, or any other repository for that matter, or SVN, etc., because um, the Phronix test suite allows for basically a trigger URL, so if from any external process you can simply ping this URL and pass it on the arbitrary trigger ID, which in turn is passed through Formatic to all the Phronix test suite uh, test nodes where they have their test scripts and will um, are totally user configurable. Um, right here on the system is our Formatic server, even though just a laptop. Um, this was set up by simply running uh, the latest Git code and then Phronix test suite command uh, start Formatic server. Uh, we're logged into the account right here. Uh, it walks you through very quickly. Uh, for any system that you want to connect to the, uh, the Formatic server, you basically run Phronix test suite Formatic.connect. Then it'll be the IP address of the server and then a specialized account ID for verification. Uh, and then over here is our two test systems just for reference. Uh, just running them on laptops for simplicity. Uh, we already ran that and validated them on the Formatic server. So then we see them over here. You're also able to create system groups and some other new features compared to the old Formatic.com code. Uh, we see that systems all set up. Here's the local IP information, all the parts, hardware and software information. Um, of course, PTS works just fine on BSD and OS X as well. Uh, various settings as from the Formatic.com version. You're able to create test schedules. View results. Um, yeah, for creating test schedules, very basic information. You're able to um, create these set context scripts for pre-installation, post-installation, pre-run, and post-run. And again, it can be for configuring the system by, say, running app get disk upgrade or something more advanced like cloning the latest uh, Linux kernel, building that against a particular revision which was obtained from a trigger ID that you passed from an external script to the formatic server or basically anything along those lines. It's completely configurable and uh, much more extensible than our old formatic.com code that's been in development now for over the past half decade. Um, if you're just doing it on a time basis you can select the time, days of the week, so here's an empty test schedule that we just, I created a little while ago. So basically every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday at 9 o'clock, just because it's a short time ago, here's our customized trigger ID and trigger URL should we want to use that. We're just going to add some quick test to schedule. All of this is also automatically obtained from openbenchmarking.org. So we have all the latest test profiles and it's quite plentiful. Over here on these test systems, we're going to refire up the Phronix Test Suite client instance. Normally this would be running constantly, but this is simply a video I threw together uh, just a few minutes tonight. So just communicating now with this laptop that's acting as the server and it sees, oh, there's these two new tests. And it's already past 9 o'clock, so that schedule is active. And there's Zonotic fired up and running away. A change with uh, Phronix Test Suite 5.2 Canino is that, yes, the Formatic server is built in. Um, it's now open source compared to the original Formatic.com code. But the only part that's still um, closed up is the result analysis component uh, with a free in-house uh, formatic server for the Phronix test suite. 
uh, the, the results are uploaded to openbenchmarking.org automatically and you can do all of your result analysis there. But if you require any behind the firewall result hosting and basically a behind the firewall instance of openbenchmarking.org, you can contact us for licensing information. But yeah, for any open source proje projects and everything else like that, all this stuff's all open source and very easy to deploy within a few minutes. All of this code is also hosted on GitHub and we gladly welcome any patches and any other improvements. There's some other settings and such that you can toy around with. Phronix uh, Test Suite 5.2 will likely be released in the middle of June or so and it should have a fairly nice experience. There's a whole, many more formatic improvements that I should hopefully be landing in the next week or two. But with uh, this upcoming Milestone 2 release that I'll be doing in a couple hours, everything should be in good shape for all the crucial components of formatic both on the uh, client end and server end. And yet uh, several other interesting uh, features too will be coming to Fronix Test Suite 5.2 outside of the formatic code for those still running them on just a single test system. At least it looks like over here on these test systems as an Audax is almost done. All of the same front access suite settings apply via openbenchmarking.org and the formatic server, so it's basically feature parity with everything else. Any custom engineering agreements or anything else along those lines for any organizations that might want other um, specialized improvements to f the new formatic code is also welcome by contacting Phronix. So now it's done. Now there's just that uh, short stream memory benchmark that's set to run. Meanwhile, the Haswell MacBook Air is still rather slow. system. Okay, it's, it's done now. Oh, that's actually a bug there. The browser shouldn't open the net system. But, let's see. Any second now. The data should be available via the open benchmark or formatic server, pardon me. Oh, yes, here we go. Well, the result data as you would normally expect. And that's about it for the very quick run through. Um, I'd encourage you to play with a new Front Access Suite Git code. Uh, their formatic should work very well now for many organizations and independent users. And we welcome your feedback and patches. Thank you very much.